Okay, here we are outside of the Greg Cusera Gallery. Also on 3rd Avenue South here. Uh, just, just up from South Main. And uh, today uh, the show is, this is 212 3rd Avenue South. And today the show is Michael C. Spafford, Epic Works at the Greg Cusera Gallery. Okay, let's head in. Now let's see what the, there is to see. Well, nice old wood floors and uh, big, big panels on the wall. Big paneled painting. Let's see. Uh, Michael Spafford, Epic Works, a collaboration of Davidson Galleries, Greg Cusera Gallery, Woodside Braceth Gallery, and the Spafford family with Zocala Studios. And this is Michael Spafford, Lao Kun Sons and Serpents, Oil on Canvas, 1989. Okay, these these uh, have some age, uh, these canvas. Lao Kun and Sons. Lao Kun, I believe, was the uh, the priest from Troy who uh, questioned uh, the admission of the Trojan horse and uh, for that he was sent a bunch of plagues here in his uh, his son serpents and plagues so uh, uh, obviously a Greek mythology theme here we have uh, Minotaur 1 1988 the Minotaur the the beast from the maze in uh, on the Isle of Crete. Looks like a triptych, but a good size here. And this piece over here, oh, all all large panels. One Greek and one Trojan, oil on canvas. And an up close uh, kill scene with a, a, a sword piercing, piercing one of the figures. Bright reds to orange red. Obviously suggestive of. Uh, uh, the pain of battle, the pain and fraught of battle. Across the way here, another giant triptych. Must be uh, close to 20 feet long, 18 feet. I'll, I'll walk along uh, here. First viewing this panel on the front wall. And this is Coat Luke, 1980, Coat Luke. Deep reds, uh, white hands and snake-like serpents, serpent figures, Coat Luke. And back to the triptych by Michael Spafford, Death of Chimera, 1984. All mythological themes. Obviously big uh, epic painting, so the, the title says. And I'll draw back once more so you can see this giant triptych panel. Very dramatic. 
and then uh, zooming towards uh, another smaller painting uh, on the wall here. Uh, this is titled also Coat Luke 5. Okay. Also uh, seems very much in the mythological, the grand mythological story. And moving into the second room. Uh, Icarus, 1988, Icarus. Icarus, the son of Daedalus, who chose to fly too high, and uh, the sun uh, melted his wings and he fell to earth. Story of Daedalus and Ic Icarus. And here we have uh, another title of Icarus, 1971, obviously a theme of uh, the artist Michael Spafford. And moving again along the walls here. Hercules from the Grecian labors. Very dynamic uh, painting. I mean, it, it almost looks like uh, a mixed oil and resin coated photographic print. Okay. Obviously, some overpainting on a photographic print of uh, Hercules labors. Another piece on the wall here, Laocoon Trio, well on canvas. Another piece titled Coat Luke. one Greek, one Trojan. Obviously another up-close battle scene. The sword evident. And this is oil on paper. Another Michael Spafford, Hercules with the bull. Very nice piece, I like it a lot. Uh, oil stick, charcoal and graphite on paper. I like the strong lines to it, it's almost all line. In this piece, uh, Perseus and Medusa. Wonderful, uh, also uh, very much just lines on a, on a, a solid canvas of, uh, of green. Here's some three-dimensional, wonderful three-dimensional piece. by Michael Spafford. Perseus and Medusa, cantilever diptych. Cantilever diptych, 1977. So here you have a canvas in the form of sculpture. Perseus and Medusa. And then another diptych piece. 
do it to show it was one of the things in North West Hamlet. A picture of mine was in the North West Hamlet, and then he was going to pay me as an actor. Alerophon. And uh, the figure on the right inverted. But a very nice panel and uh, uh, the the odd shape, uh, uh, the panel obviously on the right uh, uh, leaning downwards in its uh, tilting. Very unusual piece, but uh, very nice. And then another uh, dip, uh, triptych here on, on the back wall here. Let's see, uh, this is another Lao Kun. Another Lao Kun. And then on this wall, we have Origin Myth, number 9, 1961. Ah, obviously one of his very early piece, Origin Myth. In uh, brown, tan, off-white uh, tones, some, some deep browns. Origin Myth by Michael Spafford, 1961. Crossing over into another wing of the gallery, but also uh, Michael Spafford uh, paintings. Perseus with severed head. And uh, seems obvious uh, we're talking about the Medusa head there with the snake uh, entrails uh, coming out of the head. Medusius slaying, uh, Perseus slaying the Medusa. And here we have a series of 10 panels, Hercules Labors, 1 through 10. I'll just pan across here. All done in uh, expressionist uh, tones and, and brush with the paint uh, laid on rather thickly and coarsely. Black Romulus, 2000. Black Romulus, 2000. Then another wide panel here. Battle of the Gods and Giants, 2002. No, no heads uh, in the panel, so obviously the emphasis on on the bodily forms and uh, a lot of uh, bright red indicating the the violence of battle, the violence and toll of battle. There's another piece, uh, Minotaur, 1961. The Minotaur, the dark figure with the bull's head and the body of a man. And here's another very expressionist piece. Reds, oranges, blues. Cronus devouring his children. All from Greek themes. Kronos devouring his children. And 
and this piece by Michael Spafford, another Minotaur piece, uh, uh, Oil on Paper, 1987. 1987. Uh, you see the the tile floor in there. Perhaps from the Isle of Crete. In this piece, The Labors of Hercules, a smaller panel, 1965, oil on paper. And I'm just going to look at a wonderful piece of sculpture that I see here hanging on the wall. I'm not sure if it's a canoe or, or a long scoop kind of piece. By Chris Brunch. Trammel is the name of it. Trammel, okay, it is a scoop. And some other uh, pieces in the back room here. Claudia Fitch, supine bottle. Supine bottle. Uh, Roger Shimamura. The Great American Muse. The Great American Muse. Acrylic on canvas. Very J Japanesque. Despite the name. And Norman London, Girl on a Shiny Wood Floor. Very impressionistic. Almost uh, suggestive of Calabot, the French Impressionist. And some glass works here. Some other sculpture up top here. A ship's bottle sculpture. We have a cherub sitting on the edge of a pitcher. And this is Paul. Hiriuchi, Segments in White, early 1960s, paper collage on canvas. So obviously a, 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 a retrospective. Joey Veltkamp, Heavy Sailor, 2018. McLean Thomas. I've been good to me, mixed media collage with silk screen, mono and digital printing, leopard skin print, wood veneer and silica flocking. McLean Thomas, 2015. Very striking portrait. And the textile here, Joey Veltkamp, 2018. Jesus Christ made Seattle under protest. <laughs> okay. And uh, a wall piece here, looks like glass gilded bronze and polycarbonate. Mark Calderon, 2016, untitled. But uh, obviously a, a, a boxer holding up his hands, perhaps in victory. Then we have um, Time to Take a Walk, Sherry Markovich. Beads paper mache and mixed media and on the wall paint as canvas acrylic paint wooden stretcher and tacks Margie Livingston paint as canvas then a smaller sculpture Dan Webb rubber dandy 2008 2009 excuse me rubber dandy and Margie Livingston, Drape Frame, 2016. 
Uh, some very interesting contemporary works in the back room here, and now we're we're back into the uh, Spafford uh, works. And there you have it, a beautiful gallery, a wonderful exhibition of uh, vintage works with mythological theme. And a very handsome gallery. And here I am in the upstairs room with uh, an array of wall prints and uh, sculpture as well. We have a wooden chair here. Dan Webb, the melted chair. Carved fur. And uh, some paintings of airplanes of different eras. Our top eight largest United States flags. Let's see, graphite, colored crayon, and permanent marker on paper, Gregory Blackstock. And moving through the gallery, past uh, other paintings by Gregory Blackstock. We have some more sculptures. Dan Webb, cathedral, workbench, carved wood, a vice uh, device, and all carved wood. That's that's pretty amazing. And we have another uh, sculpture, carved wood, with uh, an eagle's wing and a foot. The name of this is, uh, I believe, is Make Your Own Wings, 2016, Dan Webb. And another sculpture over here, incorporating a, uh, a crutch and an arm and uh, two blocks of wood, also by Dan Webb. Mr. Butterfly, carved cedar. And then Deborah Butterfield, Lemon Drop, Found Steel. And here is a, uh, a horse, uh, all made out of uh, bent uh, steel, I, I presume. I'll zoom in here so you can get a look at some of the, the work, the twisted steel and metal in here, and the horse's head. And some more pieces on the wall. And we'll head back down to the main floor. And we'll bid adieu to the Michael Spafford uh, epic exhibition. This first room is quite a grand room and uh, 
uh, quite befitting these large panels by Michael Spafford. So we leave the Greg Cusera Gallery and Davidson Galleries. And we're back on 3rd Avenue here. And it's a little sun and clouds today, but uh, uh, quite a bit of sun now and quite, quite wonderful. It's warmed up considerably as so we look up to one of the Seattle skyscrapers.